Welcome back to another episode here at Mainy Lofts. Birds are out um, in the front section. Did give the loft a very nice clean, which is quite nice now that the rain's gone away and this beautiful weather's come back. It's not too hot at the moment, which is fantastic. I did top up this with some fresh grit, so they're going to be super excited. They are super heavy in the mulch at the moment. Most of this mess with was feathers. You can still see there is feathers stuck everywhere. Um, just because they are molting light no tomorrow, which is a good thing. Sorry Zoe, you can't come in. Anyway, I need to bring these guys in and we'll have a little look at them. I want to give them another feed. I'm hoping I can get them out um, maybe today or tomorrow, we'll see. It's a, oh, it's a problem with this door. I don't mind these sliding doors, but the definitely need to look at the a better design of sliding doors because you can see a lot of the poop gets caught up in here and the like what happened there it just drops off so you just got to push it back on but still a good design i definitely like those sliding doors yeah mum here comes the dust storm mum want to come back in Come on. Come on. Come on, you stragglers. Let's go. Come on. Come and get some breakfast. Come on. So all these fly birds are doing pretty well. Going to have to get them up flying soon over the next few days. I want to trap train them again today. And I really need to somehow identify all the young birds that are in here. Like I said before, we're just starting again, starting from the very beginning. Just because there's so many little babies in here, um, we'll just train them all, trap train them all together, let them all out together. And I know it's an absolute pain, but just the way things are, we haven't really had to... Um, well, we haven't really had a, much of a chance to actually get them all out. And because the uh, hawks and sort of staggering them along is a bit of a pain. But they are pretty happy, which is the main thing. Um, looking pretty healthy, so once they get past this molt, we can definitely get them up as much as possible. Well, I generally don't push them very hard when on the molt, just because I know that um, sometimes their wing feathers can bleed a little bit if you push them too hard but it's not that common but I just like them to rest and what I will do is make up a little mix at home with some of that bio powder um, pink mineral powder garlic oil linseed oil the linseed oil I think it is um, and we'll bring it out because that's all that's very beneficial for them molting so I will only get them through that molt stage most of them will there's still a few of the younger ones that are going to molt in another month or two but majority of these are a certain age so Ooh, I'm going to go. I'll catch you all in the next video.